Hey YouTube, uh, Redman TV back here today, and today we're doing a view. Um, I recently just got this in the mail. It's a pin telescopic rod. I haven't fished with it yet, but I wanted to cast it, so I put a little crappie tube with a jig head. It says Sartreuse with a black body. Uh, I find these catch a lot more fish, but um, they really are good. They work miracles. So um, let's get to the all-around review. Uh, I'll show y'all. It's like telescopic, so it like bends down, like, and then you put the little lid on it, and it's like a pin. It's a pin. Uh, this is my first review on anything fishing. I fish a lot. Uh, it's just what I do during the summers. So, and I'm about to go to this camp for my church. We're going to two separate camps, and we're allowed to bring fishing reels. And I didn't feel like bringing, you know, my seven foot, um, what's it called again? Lose American Hero. I didn't feel like bringing that. So, I just decided to get, like, a little gimmick like this. But it actually works pretty good. Now, the rod, it isn't the best rod ever. Uh... I'm afraid to bend it too far because with my baitcaster model of the pin rod, it didn't work out too well when I bent it, so it broke. But um, I don't know if this is the same or not. It, it seems to be the same material, just this graphite material. It's And these little eyes on my baitcaster, they kept sliding down, but this is a free hawk. The gear ratio is 5, 1 to 1. And, um, it seems to be working out pretty well. It doesn't have a lot of bend. But, um, in the drag system, it's, like, not good. Uh, but it, I didn't pay much for it. I only paid, like, 16 But it'll work for what I'm, what it's worth. Um, we're gonna be going to this church camp, and it's, like, up at north. But I live in Arkansas, so it's quite a ways away. But, um, it'll be pretty good for the little trout and brim and sunfish species. But, uh, the other problem I was having with this is this is not good. It's, like, really stiff. Like, when you're reeling, it's kind of hard to reel. Not really hard, but, like, it's harder than normal. But, um, yeah, it's... It's okay for the money, but I, I hope it doesn't break when I get a good sized fish on. Which I'm probably not with this little jig head right here with the tube. I don't know how quite to fish these tubes. I looked up on the internet and they said to just slide the knot back and let it fish like this. But in ponds, I use it as a jig like a normal tube. I let it fall. And then I jig it up and then let it fall again and let it sit for a couple seconds. Uh, if anyone watches this, which they probably won't, leave in the comments of how to fish a crappie tube. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, not like anyone watches them. But um, this is uh, good for what its money was worth. And when I go up north, I'll make sure to bring my little chest mount for my phone. I bought one. Uh, and hope that in the kayak, it don't go over and ruin my phone. So, um, I've been looking into buying a GoPro. So, maybe I'll get, like, more views and stuff with that. Because uh, I'll have better content. And I've been doing this thing. I made up this challenge. I've been posting on the Guggen Squad and the views like the little comment section I put a there's this challenge right you get a Zebco dock demon which everyone knows where they were you can tie them in knots and stuff and I got one of those and um, I put a uh, Abu Garcia black max on it sadly I broke my Abu Garcia I don't know how but like the button that you push when you zoom, it like broke off and the real the little drag tensioner thing I don't really know what they're called 
and the little star I broke that too but um that, that's pretty much it but um I'll try to bring my camera along to show y'all if I catch anything what well, from what I hear this creek is riddled with a uh, small mouth and all that kind of stuff oh I got off subject dang it um but um the thing I was talking about is the dock demon uh you put that regular thing on it and a uh, regular bait caster and when you're fishing it it's like really hard to set the hook because it's only like that long and the rod bend is like pretty much in a knot and so i was wondering if we could do like if they would do that thing i think it would be pretty entertaining the if you don't know who the guggen squad is you live under a rock uh it consists of a couple people one's andrew flair the other one's alex perrick John B, my favorite, Lunkers TV, and, uh, what's his face, um, dang, I forgot his name, uh, he calls his fans fishing freaks, Lake Fort guy, I don't know his name though, but, um, he's pretty good too, uh, and, uh, I got some banjo minnows in with this reel, so I'm gonna try to do a fishing video on that because normally I like bass fishing I don't really like crappie and all that but I'm I'm snagged in my room That's not, uh, and um but I was just wondering if y'all would want to see that that would just like leave it in the comments I doubt I'm gonna get any views on this but the overall rating of the pin rod I give it a solid four out of three because it's not that smooth the drag system is crap and it's just not practical. I mean, when people want to go... Sorry, my hand was in the way. When people normally go fishing, they'll not be lazy. And they'll normally bring like a six foot six, like small bait caster or ice rod or something. Not like a one of these. I don't think the practicality is that good, but it's a four out of six because I mean it seems pretty good like I'm snagged and you see it's bending and not breaking so that's pretty good but well uh, that's my review don't forget to go subscribe to the Guggen squad Alex Perrick uh, Flair I think uh, oh Alex Perrick is AP Bassin Lake Fort Guy Lunkers TV and John B that's it bye